What up, everybody? Hello, how's it going? What are people up to today? We are going live today. Oh, not too many tasks kicking around. We already did uh, a whole lot of our activities this morning. <clears throat> Um, and we're going live today, chatting about some of our new changes, seeing what we got going on. Got some changes coming to the library that we're going to chat about. Uh, giving people a heads up on some of the skills that are going to be limiting uh, tasks in the near future. But first, of course, we're just going to poke around a little bit. Uh poke some buttons, see if we win right off the bat. <laughs> Be able to afford to do library tasks. Uh, I don't think they're that... Are they that expensive? Let's see. Making, like, electronics, paper. I feel like there's, there's profit to be made here if you're a new player with a library. Some stamina, some power, some electronic bits, a power cell, a research paper. I'd say all that adds up to, like, probably under 50 dusk, and even that's probably a, a very high ball. It's gotta be under 50, and I'm assuming people are buying those uh, research papers. Uh, we wanna look at, we wanna look at novice uh, research papers. Not tools, not research, uh, research? Yeah, all the novice ones. Yeah. You could sell these 125? Absolutely, those are worth making. I mean, you could go do the math on what all that stuff costs, but it's got to be under this price. Long turnaround, though. Two days to get that profit. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay, what are we doing? We got a Roverworks finishing... Oh, finishing a hauling token. Alright, we'll take that. Um, we're gonna use that hauling rover to move one of our buildings here. Uh, we're trying to relocate all these machine shops onto Leo Bank Hawk. Uh, Leo Bank Hawk is where we want to move these. And we're moving them, like, one at a time, because we have a fair bit of stuff that we have going on. Hey, welcome on in. Hey, literal, welcome. Happy to see everybody popping in, saying hi. But really, this feels like a lot more... Oh, 17 plots open. I was like, I have more than 17 plots here, I swear. Um, we're moving these to Leo up here. One rover, a bit of Metis, and some stuff. Yes, transport. Move that sucker up that way. Hey, Zane, welcome on in. Uh, and luckily they don't take too long. Uh, I don't know if we have any other machine shops ready to move up there. Yeah, these are gonna take a little while to finish what they're working on. Uh, this is where we moved the other one from. And we have two here that are also waiting on some stuff before we move them. So basically, I think we can fit five... Yeah, we can fit five machine rare machine shops on this plot. 35 times 5. Right? Yeah. Hey, Kronos! Welcome on in! Ah, we're playing Million on Mars. Uh, it is a play-to-own crypto game on the Wax blockchain. Alright, we're going to claim our dusk from our artifact here. We're also going to filter our water. Alright. Hey, Necro. Yeah, we got we got a lot of water filtering here because we're kind of prepping for the... Uh... <laughs> we are prepping for the... Uh, cantina tasks to rotate in about five hours, and they're going to rotate onto water. Um, they're currently on Hungry Hungry Martians is the current uh, task. Well, yeah, if you are new to all of that stuff, uh, we do have... That's that's not the right command. <laughs> we do have uh, 
a YouTube channel with a whole bunch of useful tutorials if it's something you're interested in playing and you're new to Million on Mars. Got another rig for six... Wow, mercy. That's uh, wild. Uh, let's see. What else? So we don't really have too many other tasks to fire up. We have a decent bit of stamina saved up. Does the job market work? What is the working principle? Uh, so you go to the job market. You can see there's 21 electrical jobs. So if you post, you know, 10 stamina here and you post a work bid, you'll pick up those 10 jobs. Or, you know, whatever, whatever jobs you end up getting. It looks like I got a bunch of two stamina jobs. So I got five two stamina jobs from doing that. That is how the job market works. Uh, must admit, it's not working. Uh, so if you're, it, like, it's current stamina, like, stuff that's going on now. If you put in stuff for, like, I have a whole pile of stamina I sunk into fabrication. Nobody has fabrication jobs. So <laughs> it's not that it's not working. It's that nobody's posting those jobs. They're working them themselves. Like, if you want to guarantee work, go in here, look for, like, there are five mining jobs here. Look for jobs that are available if you want to make sure it works right away. 33 stamina for one on electrical. Ah, okay. So, also, there's a bit of an issue if it's a backlogged one. We're working on connecting those to the... Uh, there's, like, some issue with getting those connected for the first couple of days that we had the job market created. That's a known issue that's being worked on. That's fine. Uh, we want to have a look at the library because we're going to talk. Yeah, yeah. Just wait for those jobs to get picked up. Uh, they'll, they'll be working on it. Videos have been a great help. Hey, happy to hear it. Okay, so uh, if we look at our library right now and we have a look at, say, Introduction to Machining. This task currently requires only a building level and not uh, any skill level. But in the near future, uh, we know there will be changes coming to the library that are going to, one, lock some of this stuff. Hey, Prevail, welcome on in. Uh, that's gonna lock, hey, Mom, D C D. E. That's a tough name to pronounce. <laughs> I will call you Mo. Previous system is more stable, now stamina is... Mm, well, if you only list it... So the previous system was brutal to fight. It was a click war. It was really tough. Now if you only take jobs that are available, you can guarantee this stamina gets used. Yeah, PV... Yeah. Previously, uh, the job system was just brutal. <laughs> um... So if we're looking at introduction to machining, for example, uh, we can see that we don't have any requirement here. We know in the near future, machining is going to require uh, a skill level in order to do this. So you're gonna have to level up your basics a little bit uh, in order to get it up to like level 10 uh, in order to actually get these uh, research papers in the future. Yeah, how is everyone? I'd also like to preface all the stuff we're talking about today in the library with this is not final numbers. These are not, these may change, but these are rough, probably what's coming in the future. Um, so machining, yeah, we're going to require 10 skill in order to do this task in the near future. So this is an example of a task that exists right now that is going to be level locked soon. Just so people know, this is coming for things like growing soy, for doing your ice mining, for lots of different tasks. These skill level locks are coming. Um, another one that we have is, uh, so we're going to have rotations on when all of these tasks are available in the library. So currently we already have chemistry and life science kind of rotating on different days. Um, all of these are going to be switched to uh, to happen on certain days. So for example, on Mondays, uh, we will have electrical and robotics tasks available. So electronics 101 and robotics 101. But we are also going to be introducing new tasks on those days. So if Mondays are electrical and robotics day, 
we are going to have advanced tasks for those uh, those jobs. Um, so what what might that look like? Uh, we can actually pull some stuff up here. So if we're looking at robotics, uh, we have our basic tasks. We have basic electrical. Basic robotics is now also going to require a skill level of 10. Um, so the upgraded ones, robotics and electrical, uh, will have different names for these upgraded tasks, but they will also give more research credits. So if you've noticed you're gathering research credits already, um, we're going to be using those in the shop in the near future. There will be a place to spend them. Uh, and so those go all the way up. We'll have, you know, electrical and robotics at a all these different skill levels at level 15, at level 20, at level 30, all the way up. So you can get lots of shop credits depending on your skill level, but also requiring high level libraries if you are a high level skill uh, usage. So fancier and fancier levels. Hello, Sea Dragon. Welcome on in. Uh, also, yeah, if you're new to the stream, if you've never been here before and you're wondering what's going on, you are welcome to ask questions. We will dig into any question anybody has. We'll make sure we answer them always. So we had what tasks give you fabrication experience. So uh, you can do tasks in the 3D print shop. You can execute them here, uh, like paper or electronic parts. Uh, you can... So, like, lots of, basically all the tasks in the 3D print shop. You can also do STEM sets. So these ones are very much gambling for anyone who has not already tried them. STEM sets can give up to 2,000, but usually give zero. Uh, and these give fabrication experience. So, oh, 100's not bad. I feel like 100 is, 150 is probably profit. 100 is, uh... Aren't you that grilled cheese Sandy's guy? I am that grilled cheese Sandy's guy. Oh, maybe a hundred is the minimum, yeah. Um, I think zero is here because it's part of the loot table. If you hit two thousand, you're not you're getting zero on the hundred task, so that's why it's uh, displaying that way. All right, so we're just gonna hit the minimum on like most of those. <laughs> that's okay though. We did the tasks to get some experience there. Uh, will the building level stay the same, just the XP requirements will be higher? Correct. So, the building requirements, um, what do we have as an example? So, like, right now, to, ex to transport PVC, you need a level 3 epic chem lab. Maybe this will require some, like, some amount of skill. Probably, maybe not this one. Um... If it requires some amount of skill, this building level is not going to be adjusted. That's not that's not what's being changed or worked on. Uh, I thought 100 was the minimum. Yes, 100 is the minimum. That's correct. Uh, how high of a skill level can you get per level of training hall? Oh, okay. That's an easy one. So we head over to our training hall. For every, every level of training hall, you can level up your skills uh, 20 at a time. So for example, for us to continue training scavenging, when we're up here at level 60, we need level three. For us to go to, once this changes over to 61, we would need this training hall to be level four because we're going past 60. Uh, any tips for jobs? Yep, uh, so if you're going into jobs, mining and electrical seem to be the most populated ones. There's usually a little bit of machining, but if you only take jobs that say available, your jobs will fill. Master Scavenger? Ah, we just did it for a really long time. It was the one that we let uh, a lot of XP build up on. Uh, I don't think we have other buildings to move. Uh, so what other stuff can we talk about from the library? Um, okay, so we mentioned uh, on Mondays we're going to have... We, we can sort of do a dig through some of these different ones. So on Mondays, we're looking at uh, electrical and robotics research. Tuesdays look like life science and mining. Wednesdays look like fabrication and machining. Thursdays are electrical and machining. 
life science and mining again on Friday. Set Friday? Well, I'm lining things up poorly, but you know, there you go. <laughs> you can see which days have which skills. Um, and it's going to be mostly laid out, I think, lining up. Yeah, so fabrication, fabrication, and chemistry on Sundays fabrication and machining on Wednesdays. When is the scavenging skill going to affect what you can actually scavenge? Near future. Uh, planned loot tables, things like that. Uh, we can talk a little bit about these research credits. So, anyone who's been making research papers, uh, you've seen these drop already. Um, you've been gathering some up. You cannot see them anywhere in your inventory right now. They just sort of pile up in the back end. Uh, I don't know if we have any library tasks finishing really soon here that we would be able to show exactly what's happening. Uh, yeah, maybe not. But uh, basically when you finish one of these, you are also getting research credit based on the type of research. Hello, Ashen Hood. Welcome on in. Um, so you can take these research credits. You can head to the shop with them once that shop exists and you'll be able to purchase uh, relevant things for that. So for example, um, like journeyman research papers, right? So right now, in order for you to acquire higher level research papers for when you level up your skills, uh, you would have to go into your inventory, you have to see, you know, I've got 72 life science. Um, I can go to the shop and I can turn them into apprentice life science research by going to uh, profession research and combining all these different things. So I can go to life science and I can combine uh, three novice into one apprentice. Uh, you could combine three apprentice into journeyman, but these might fail when you try and do this. 80% of the time you'll get it, 20% of the time you'll get back one apprentice paper, so you'll lose two apprentice papers. So working your way up, you have to hit these percentages all the time, all the way up. So you're gonna, you're gonna burn through a lot of those papers, right? Something you may be able to spend those credit, research credits on in the future uh, might be, say, expert life science research. If you have a bunch of life science research credits, rather than like chancing your way up the chain, uh, <laughs> hey, you are CS gamer, welcome on in. Um, yeah, chancing your way up this chain, maybe you could just spend those research credits and get the paper you need. Or maybe you could spend it on the relevant um, research for, uh, like if you're building up a bunch of life science research credits, maybe you could use that to get the grow mushroom recipe or the mushroom tea or the mushroom cakes by just building up a bunch of research credits. So you don't, you know, eventually if you are lucky, you might get that drop. But um, yeah, saving those up will get you there. Stamina is not enough. Is there some alternative for stamina generation? Yes, of course. Um, there is a large number of ways to generate stamina. Uh, you can eat food. Ba like, look at all. Look at how many things give stamina. I know a lot of these are basically sort of in the same category. But uh, so eating stuff is your primary uh, generation. Hey, PD, welcome on in. Uh, where do you get the fabrication tools from? Currently, only from drops. Um, the drop that was sold on Thursday, and there, I think there was an advanced skills drop and there was a jack of all trades drop and there was fabrication tools in some of those. Um, so you would have to deposit those in the game and then open them in the shop in order to get those, uh, like tool charges. Um, yes. Okay. So stamina. So you can eat stuff. You can get stamina that way. You can drink coffee. Uh, which you can get some amount of stamina from. You can also, uh, happy hour happens about five, four and a half hours from now. Um, and it happens twice a day at that time, at the AM and the PM, whatever those are for you. Um, and I think there's another set as well, but happy hour lets you consume Baiju and get stamina. So you keep an eye out for that. Maybe keep an eye on the Discord. People like to post when it is happy hour. Maybe if you want to help out the community, post happy hour in the Discord when it's happy hour. It'd be a, a great use of, uh, you know, community engagement. 
Good afternoon, fam. Welcome on in. 12 UTC, AM, and PM. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Um, what else? Oh, stamina. So there's also a huge, huge, huge benefit to pirate radio for stamina generation. You play tracks in the pirate radio, it consumes vibes, and it gives you stamina. So if you're looking for more stamina and you're feeling like you're not getting enough in a day, invest in a pirate radio. Uh, they're a pretty massive investment on the higher end, but even on the lower end, like you could be playing, this might lose you some dusk, right? Uh, if you're using one vibe and you're getting one or two stamina and you're getting back two to four dusk, depending on what you spend on the vibes, you may lose money by doing it. But, uh, yeah, you hit that, you generate 14 Dusk and 5 Stamina for some Vibes. I think it was 4 Vibes for 14 Dusk. So depending on the price of Vibes in the shop, um, which are currently 4, but if you buy those soundtrack packs whenever those come out, I mean, those those are much cheaper than uh, buying them on this, on this market. You can also find them from scavenging, for anyone who's out there scavenging and wondering what those Vibes you've been digging up, what they're for. They give you bonus stamina. You just drop them in here after you find them and uh, get some free stamina. All right. Do we have any new players in the chat today? Anyone who hasn't really poked around too much, hasn't seen much of the game? Is there anything you're wondering? Anything people want us to explore or poke around in? Um, any, any buildings you want to know about? Any strategies you're wondering about? Stuff you want us to check out? Uh, I do like Million, but this soundtrack can have a little bit of uh, words to it, so we'll make sure it's not too overpowering. <laughs> Strategies uh, is a pretty general statement. Uh, uses for research papers. We can absolutely talk about this. So research papers, if we go to the library, uh, you use those research papers on all of the different skill uh, researches. Turn that music down just a touch. Uh, so you use those research papers here to generate novice research in the category that you're doing. So we use one research paper, we get one chemistry research, for example. Um, and so these, what do you do with these novice researches? You use them to level up your skills in the training hall. Hey, Night Rabbit, welcome on in. Uh, so yeah, that's what you use your research papers for. Um, mid-tier player, so necessary, rushing habitat or not. Habitats are, like, really high-end, like, if you're not someone with, like, tons of land and stuff that you want to rent out, habitats and settlements are probably not something you need to worry about. Um, you probably want to be more interested in joining somebody's large settlement so you can get the benefit of the buildings that you have. If you're already, like, using all your buildings and you're, like, maximizing all your own stuff and you don't have spare slots you would rent out, you don't need a, a habitat because you don't have anything you need to rent out to people. Um, hi, yes, what is the level of the skills? Um, gonna need a more specific... The level of the skills... Um, are you asking, like... How much experience do you need to level up a skill? Scavenging experience, do anything right now. Uh, you dump it into training up your scavenging level. That's what it is used for. Uh, it will be better loot tables in the near future. Uh, dusk gaining strategies. Uh, we'll tackle something, something along those lines. Lots of actions gain dusk. Just look at power cells as the, the base example and then look at some of the other ones after that. Um, <laughs> T-Shop gains slots when leveled. It does. That's an easy one. Uh, something, something, 7 at level 4 and 10 at uh, level 5. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so don't need to worry about habitats as a mid-level player. Um, dust gaining strategies, uh, so we said, look at solar panels, look at the profit from empty to full power cells. Um, you can look at sort of how much power goes into any given task. So 40 power to stamina, and if the stuff that you're getting out is worth that difference in cost, that's the next easy one to look at. If you're doing like ice mining or, 
uh, like CO2 CO2 production is also just stamina and power, so it's easy to do some math on if this is worth two CO2. Um, does XP help you with getting job bids? Not currently, but in the near future, yes. Uh, so something to consider. Say uh, you have a job that requires, uh, what can we look at? Like in the smelter, if we go to make glass, say I need someone who has fabrication 20 or higher. If you're in that, if you have 20 fabrication, you could actually fill these jobs and you could probably demand a higher wage by doing it. You could like post on the, um, post on the discord and say, hey, like I have 20 fabrication. I've put up my stamina. Uh, I'm asking for five dusk a piece to like smelt glass for people. People will probably pay you for it because um, you've spent the time to level up that skill. Uh, sorry, I'm a little clumsy with English. Ah, that's fine. Understand something. How could something be removed from my land to be able to put something else? Oh, if you want to tear stuff down. So you can tear stuff down. Um, but you will lose the building, but you'll, you'll get shards. So for example, I don't know if I have anything that I would tear down. I don't usually tear down the buildings. But you would go into your building, you go to upgrade and maintenance, and you go to dismantle, and you type dismantle in here, and you'll get some amount of shards uh, in return for tearing down your building. I'm playing this two weeks ago, and I've always bought the scavenging tool for 50 dusk. The tool is no longer available. What do I have to do now to use the scavenging button on the right? Ah, perfect. Okay, so in order for you to use that tool now, you would have to go to the marketplace, you would have to buy novice scavenging tools or any other scavenging tool that's on here. So people are selling it for a hundred right now, but you could look at sort of different different values and how many credits you're going to get. So when you get these sealed tools, you can also buy them on um, Atomic Hub or Nefty, uh, sealed scavenging tools. You're going to go to tools. You're going to go to scavenging tools. And you can deposit these tools. So, for example, I have some apprentice scavenging tools that I could turn in for 75 charges on my uh, scavenging button there. The novice ones, of course, still give 50. But if you get any of these really fancy ones, like art you get the mythic artisan scavenging tools, you could turn those in for 1,800 clicks on that button. Um, why is Baiju capped, forced to do by the case, or sell to keep producing Baiju? Ah, uh, that shouldn't be the case. Like, did you hit some kind of, like, stack overflow, Tommy? You got, like, 9999 Baiju or something? That should not be the case. You, you can pile up as much as you want. Uh, hey, Martians. Hey, crypto Cryptos. Mikey, welcome on in. How'd you find us? Where are you from? Uh, what is the cooldown for Baiju recipe on the tea shop? Yeah, of course. We can go check it out. Uh, thanks so much. Yeah, no problem. Happy to answer any questions anyone has. That's why we're here. That's what we do. Baiju cooldown, four hours, but it does change if you're at max level. Uh, Baiju, oh, that's Baiju by the case, goes down to three hours at a max level. I think it decreases one hour per level, if I had to guess. Uh, is it known? Approximately how much experience required for 25 scavenging? Uh, it is, but I can't, I can't find it right here, because I don't have anything that's level 25. Uh, my guess is like 7,000-ish, maybe? Um, but yeah, maybe just find someone who has... So all of them have the same level amounts, right? So like the same 2750 to get level 11 for all skills. Level 2500 for level 10. Uh, didn't let me make Baiju once I hit enough to do it by the case. Uh, interesting. Uh, you're gonna have to definitely, like, maybe message someone on the Discord about that one. Did the scavenging loot table upgrade update since price is from far from 50 dusk from before? So, the, the tables haven't changed. The reason that it changed from 50 dusk is because players are now charging what they want for that price. If you want to be someone who makes your own scavenging tools so you're not dealing with the market, you need to get your fabrication up to 24 and just make those tools yourself. The, the tools right now cost more than 50 to produce, which is why people are charging more than 50. 
like 10 metis, 2 PVC, like this is expensive. This is almost 100 dusk just to make these tools. Um, so that's why people are charging so much. Hordak, love your stream. Sometimes I watch the recap on YouTube. Thanks for answering so many questions. Yeah, of course. I, uh, and you know, we try to make it pretty YouTube friendly for anyone who's watching on YouTube later on. Hello. Say hi in the comments. Um, but yeah, what we do, uh, we read all the questions out from the chat so that the people tuning in on YouTube later know what questions we're answering. Uh, which I find a little more engaging than like having the chat scroll past the screen. Uh, it's a little distracting. Hey, hi from Ukraine. Welcome on in. Um, okay, other buildings people are wondering about. Things people want us to poke around in. Um, we could talk a little more about library. Uh, do we have anything else on our stuff that is coming that people want to know? Um, just to recap, yeah, we have skill levels coming. Uh, so at the highest level for those top level recipes, 50 skill is required and a library level 10. But you're going to get like so many research credits for doing it. Um, you'll get three research credits if you're sort of the baseline 30 skill and a level 8 library. That's sort of your like your break even, not break even, your benchmark, your target to hit if you're looking for that top tier uh, credit uh, output. Uh, what is the robotics skill going to do? So robotics is tied into your rover works. So basically every like mission that you go on here will earn you uh, robotics experience, uh, as well as like assembling rovers. Uh, so probably in the future for you to assemble rovers, you're going to need some robotics skill. There'll be a, a limit here. But there'll be other other like ways to build up to that skill by the time those gates are put in place library is expensive to upgrade correct uh it is very expensive to purchase enough shards to get your libraries upgraded um that's why for me at least you'll see i have a lot of level two libraries instead of one or two higher level ones because at level two you can do all these researches which is all i'm focused on is just doing basic research to level up my skills right now I began today. Any tips? Uh, I bid one dusk, one stamina, eight jobs, only one job accepted. Okay, so when you're doing your jobs and you're bidding your stamina over here, please, uh, if you're only bidding one and you're doing a whole bunch of them, you're only going to get jobs that require one. You can do this. You can just hit eight stamina. So what we did earlier, we said we'll spend 25 stamina in electrical, or 10 stamina in electrical, and it gave us five two stamina jobs. So you can dump all of it in at once and it'll sort you out, it'll give you all the jobs. Um, but my biggest tip, if you're a brand new player and you're looking for how do I get better at this game, what can I do to learn, um, like how, what's going to be the best use of my time to improve at this game, come to the Discord. That's like the best advice I can give you. Um, all the people there have so much wealth of knowledge, so helpful, everyone will answer your questions, um, everyone will help connect you with some, like, people give away some resources sometimes as well. If you're ever tuned into the stream and we win a, a Rusty Rigs roll, we'll give away a rig or a rover works if it pops up here. Um, yeah. How soon for all the skill, skill requirements? Like, within a few weeks? Yeah, like, near future. Like, pretty soon. Um, probably these library ones will be the first ones to come, so these get reorganized to come out on certain days and with higher skill levels for each one. Uh, how much does it cost to repair a rover in case it blows up? Uh, so you get a broken rover in the machine shop. Uh, so you hit salvage rover, you slap two titanium plates on that broken rover, and it spits out uh, an amount of stuff. So if you're incredibly lucky, you may get all of the uh, all the stuff to rebuild it, but usually you'll get back like your chassis, a couple of wheels, couple parts, couple parts. Um, not enough to actually rebuild it. You'll need to build some additional parts to then put it back together. Will dusk work accommodation all be restocked once they run out? Uh, have any of them run out currently that are like big important ones? Will I give away those twelve regolith? <laughs> it's 
Probably more effort than it's worth. <laughs> Uh, guild sales in Discord. Uh, if you have a big guild of people, you have like 25, 50 people, and you're looking to make a big purchase as a group, uh, that's where you go to chat with us about it, and we'll connect you and like get you a really good deal on a, on a DTM or like a big bulk purchase. That's what that channel is for. Um, Duskwork Accommodations. Nothing here is close to running out, right? Yeah, everything's pretty stocked right now. Um, but yeah, they have restocked this common land before. You could probably expect it to happen again if it does run out. Usually the most expensive rover will give you like two machine parts and two <laughs> wheels. Yeah, repairing your rovers can be a tough business sometimes. Um, we could give away 12 or the 14 regular. Let's let's roll one more time. All right, let's see, let's see what we get. Ah, 12 ice. Okay. Um... Is there a chance for those who don't have high rarity land to improve it in the future? It's sad that we have to change all to expand. Um, maybe, but it's not confirmed and it's not something actively in development. Um, yeah, upgrading land, not... You just buy better land if you want more space. <laughs> uh, how to create a guild in... Okay, so guilds in Million on Mars are people externally you've got a whole bunch of people that you're bringing into the game we just set you up with the dtm the whole area to yourselves um you decide what you want to do with that so some examples that we know are out there like nfg they're out there they're putting their own guild together and they're selling like uh like council stuff and they're building a city together and they're making their own little community within million on mars where they're gonna run stuff within their guild um, we have, uh, Undisputed Noobs with Steve. They're all doing their own thing. Steve's going to set up this big DTM and bring a bunch of people in and run all of that his own way. So, guilds aren't something we, the company, has designed. They're something that external groups are making within the game, running them their own way. Uh, will there be a time in the future where we can demolish our land so everyone sees a crater like artifacts? Ah, uh, not destroying your land, but if we're referring to visible marks on the DTM where people can see things that have happened, um, color coding your lands, yeah, probably a thing that we'll see in the future. So... You know, I'll see all of somebody's land that's connected over here, or, like, this little patch will be a different color if they all belong to one person. That kind of thing. I'm posting on electrical jobs at the moment, and it's taking more than 24 hours in average till they are accepted. There are more workers than jobs. Um, I mean, we just showcased that that's, like, there are, there were jobs here. We just did this on stream, like, minutes ago. Uh... There are a lot of electrical jobs if you post your bids right now. They're they're sort of flying through that category, so. Uh what should we do with our 44 stamina? Um we should probably fire up some of these printers making more electronic parts. So to do this, uh we're going to need a some regolith, some co a lot of copper ore. Charge power cell 1, 2, and 3 require different level of skill. Absolutely thinking. So this is something we're trying to get out there, trying to make sure people are aware of that is coming. You will level up that electrical skill. You're going to need a higher electrical skill to do uh, power cell 2, power cell 3. Um, you're going to need, you know, machining levels or... Oh, yeah, Dyson Man has a good point, uh, Reno. If you're asking for more than one dusk for your jobs, they're probably not going to fill because nobody's paying more than one dusk. That's just sort of how the market's going right now with the amount of labor out there. Um, okay, so we're going to buy, like, 53 copper ore. This is probably going to put a big dent in the wallet here. How much How much is this going to run us? Oh, that's really not that bad. We'll, we'll, like, super overpay for it and make sure we get it for, like, a thousand. I thought that was going to run us way more than that for some reason. Um, so we want to pick up all those copper ore to get electronic parts built so that our stamina is being invested somewhere. So we bought enough copper ore to run, uh, six, six jobs. Oh, right. We also need a pile of regolith and we're going to need, yeah, just like 
1500 regolith that's not bad regolith is super cheap because everybody out there is just picking up dirt off the ground and selling it to us uh, we'll buy that at 0.5. We'll overpay for everything and make sure we get it right away. The amount of, I always check this box. Like, <laughs> I overpay for everything just to ensure that it goes through right away. Um, okay, I think we've tackled, like, most of the questions that have come up. We're doing pretty good so far. Uh, we could definitely look at some more of the stuff on the library chart there that we had and talk about... Um, research credits that we get for recipe drops. So, uh, in addition to getting some research credits for doing those basic researches, if you ever get lucky and you drop, like, the, uh, power cell repair or the, um, growing mushrooms, so you'll get a pile of stuff for those ones. Uh, so like 50, 50 additional research credits uh, if you get lucky enough to drop like the uh, charge power cell one or sorry repair power cell one or grow mushrooms those basic ones um, and those research credits will scale if you get the better and better recipes as well I sell all at very expensive yeah I'm sure that works uh, sometimes uh, will libraries be restocked uh, maybe um that is something to ask in the discord though 60 to 144 we're really pushing to get more fabrication experience um because we saw how many things in the engineering bays are locked behind uh like 25 fabrication so we're really trying to level this guy up um but if you're a new player and you're coming into this game and you're looking at what skills you should level up highly highly recommend training up your electrical and your mining skills those are the ones that are going to be in demand that's what like lots of the bigger players are going to pay people to do library shards are out of stock refill anytime soon yeah that's the question we just answered um ask in the discord uh if they can be restocked Potentially, they need to be put on the same sort of, you know, the the steady, like the tea shop, like the pirate radio, where you can just purchase these guys. I would assume they're going to end up in that category eventually here. Repair power cell able to be used yet? Yeah, 100%. Uh, so if you've gotten the recipe, you can head over to your chem labs. And you can repair power cells in the chem labs. So, like, I've got uh, repair broken power cell one. Oh, I haven't actually used it. It's just sitting in my inventory still. Um, I mean, I suppose I can use it. Uh, library research. Repair power cell one. I could use this. I'm just not sure if I want to yet. That's, uh, that's the reason that I haven't gone. Ah, whatever. We'll do it so we can show how it works. So you use it here, you use up the recipe, and you get knowledge. I know, learn, uh, I learned repair power cell. Uh, so if I go and check, it is on my profile now. Uh, you get it as a drop from Chemistry 101. That's how we got that recipe. Uh, so if we return to our chem lab now, we can repair broken power cell because we now have the recipe where we didn't before. Uh, so we can turn in 10 broken power cells, a bit of power, one stamina, and we have a chance to get one to four empty power cells. So this is how we fix the ones that have been breaking. Uh, where in Discord can we find the levels doc? Um, do you mean, uh, need a little more description, Trader Nova? What levels specifically? Like building levels, uh, player levels, what, what are you asking about? Um, hello, I have one week into the game. I have a land. I have a thing, a thing, a thing, some stuff. What would be my next move? More solar panels. If you're a brand new player, you've got sort of one of each core building. You're just getting set up. You're going to need more power going forward. It's something you'll encounter, like, pretty quickly as you go to do more jobs. Um, once you've got a little bit of a power base going, you can start specializing into a skill. You could maybe buy a tea shop or a, um tea shop or a cantina or pirate radio or uh like a sab reactor you buy one of the buildings it's like a pretty easy next step 
So like a SAB reactor, you could take water that you've already been making and split it into hydrogen and oxygen and sell that off, right? But yeah, look at like the basic next steps as you're going. How do you get the research? Yeah, we said that one. So in your libraries, um, do the chemistry 101 and you have a chance to drop power cell, research, re uh, the recipe to repair power cells. Um, depending on the level of your library, this will be one, two, or three. It's not clear on what building rarity is for readability only, not requirements. Oh, cryptograms. So that's just, if you're looking at those uh, images that explain how to make stuff, sometimes the image will be like a mythic machine shop or a legendary chem lab. They're just saying that the building rarity doesn't matter in those images. They're just placeholders to show where things move and how you make stuff. The, they're saying the building rarity is not a requirement. Uh, so if you only just learned it, what did you get from the library? The papers on the recipe. Uh, you mean these novice chemistry research? This is what we're getting. Can I take a student loan for library research? <laughs> oh man, once we have settlements, I'm sure that's a thing. Oh yeah, like welcome to my settlement. I'll, you know, I'll loan you a number of research papers and you work your way up through a skill because I want more electrical people or I want more mining people on my settlement. Uh, how can I get more size on my land? Johnny, you need to purchase larger lands. You cannot change the size of a land after it's already been placed. You need to get more and expand. Can you show us the concrete recipe in your chem lab? Is salt, yeah, you need sulfur in order to make concrete. Make concrete, so you need uh, 25 chemistry, 25 fabrication, uh, a bunch of regolith, some water, you need some sulfur, and some chemistry tools. Uh, these chemistry tools you'll get by depositing the chemistry tools from Nefty and Atomic Hub that were dropped on Thursday. More ways to get those in the future. Uh, any word on a next event, such as Lunar New Year and Lanterns? Ah, um, so recently there's been a much stronger focus on rolling out new general content, right? So we put out um, habitats, settlements, uh, like library, all, all of these recent things, engineering bay. Um, yeah, so, so a focus on those currently, but maybe an event in the summer? It was definitely talked about during the winter event that maybe we do a summer Scorpius thing or something like that. Uh, my engineering bays, I believe I am waiting to try and find a better one. I only have a common here. And ideally, what I would wait for is um, renting land. Where is it? Where is it? My next door neighbor over here, Pancake Man, lives next to me. Why did we end our song there? Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Uh, our next door neighbor here owns a legendary engineering bay. So ideally, I can rent from this guy and use this engineering bay because, you know, I haven't pulled anything above like an uncommon. But for anyone who's tuning in, if you're a newer player, um, engineering bay is not for like newer players it's it's such a high hurdle to get to this thing and use anything in it it requires really high fabrication levels it requires like multitudes of resources um so the habitats are like not something that you need to be worrying about if you're a newer player um you want to look for people who have built habitats and go live with those people and join their guilds and settlements and things in the future um but if you're not someone who has like massive amounts of land and lots of buildings to rent out, like don't don't worry about it. Not not worth spending all of the resources on. Is the old Explorer mission two still in rotation, or is it just the two point one? Yeah. So the rover missions rotate on a day to day basis. Uh, so currently it's the five percent risk advanced Explorer, and I think on yeah, it's like a couple days a week it switches to that two point one mission that you see sometimes. Come rent from me. <laughs> hey, Savage Studios, welcome on in. Um, what did fireworks do? I know the... Oh, yeah, so there was an event with fireworks. Um, you can actually see them as a remnant here in the tea shop. 
um, you used to be able to produce envelopes and fireworks. So these were used in an event, which you can tell because it has this little party cone next to them. Um, and you traded them in for chances at prizes. Uh, fireworks uh, really didn't give great rewards, uh, but you had chances to get really good rewards. I think golden fireworks probably cost like eight, maybe... I think they were like 800 to make, maybe. There was something very expensive, a couple hundred of dusk. And uh, those fireworks would give you like... So Chinese New Year, they care a lot about stuff in multiples of eights or like eight, 88, that kind of thing. So the rewards from those golden fireworks were like, most of the time you'd get eight dusk. Some of the time you'd get 88. Very few of the time you'd get 888 and a very, very small chance, 8,888, which I don't think anyone hit for the whole event, which is why people were a little sad about the uh, the results, because you, if you hit the 888, you got some profit, right? Because it costs some 100 dusk. Most of the time, almost everyone lost money on them. <laughs> hey, Savage Studios, yes, we are on the Wax blockchain. Uh, loads and loads of tutorials and great info over on the YouTube if you are new to Million on Mars. Uh, dismantle the tea shop. Why? Why would I dismantle my tea shop? I like my levels. This level four tea shop. I mean, I basically never run anything in here. I've made so little baiju. Uh, we can crank this music up just a touch. This is a quiet one. Do different level, different rarity of chapters muck with the library. Um, so no matter what chapter you deposit, uh, it will work on the bookshelf here. It will populate, it'll turn into a color once you deposit it. Um, once a day, you can go in here and complete chapter on the bottom for each chapter that you own, and you can claim um, one research paper per chapter. Uh, we have some stuff. Oh, we have rovers coming in. Okay, so we have some rover missions finishing right now. Uh, we can definitely hit a couple of those. Looks like all three rovers came back this time. We got some robotics experience and a bunch of shards. And we will send those three rovers out again. Uh, costs us a bunch of power and hopefully brings us back some amount of shards. Yeah, of course. Uh, what's my most expensive building? Probably my pirate radio. Uh, probably my pirate radio. Pirate radios are very expensive to level up for people who are not aware. Four rovers. Yeah, okay, all four of these guys came back. That's great. I return to work, friends. Yeah, of course. If there's anything else you're missing or you want to catch up later, you're welcome to tune into the stream on the VODs or on the YouTube. Um. Okay, we have all five rovers coming in on this one. We're going to get all five back. Uh, we also will hit up some giveaway stuff. Oh, we got four back. So one of our rovers broke. So what that means is one of the ones we had in reserve will go out instead. And we will take that one that broke. We will head over to a machine shop and we will salvage that rover. Uh, so we have one broken rover to try and patch up. Uh, okay, let's, let's hit a few buttons. Give some stuff away. Uh, we could do rusty rigs. Yeah? Nope. We could do... Is there anything in any of the shops so we could hit some buttons here and give something away? Uh, so we can go to the surveyor shop. Uh, we're out of grind and brews. We have 82 tokens right now. We could do a greenhouse. Yeah, we could always do the greenhouse box. The land? Uh, it's a bit, bit rich for me. <laughs> I'm not uh, not quite at the level of just handing out my land. Rover's pack drop, rare rover works. Uh, factories, factories. Yeah, I mean, this is a guaranteed rare. So what we would do with this factories pack is uh, if we hit if we hit an epic or a legendary, uh, we'll give it away. Hit some grind and brew. We have no grind and brews left here to give away, unfortunately. Uh, the rover, mythic, or, um, mines and rover packs, we're almost out. If you check the drop, it only goes up to 2,000, and we're already down. There's not that many left. 
Uh, have I ever gotten a rigs from Rusty Jack? If anyone's paying attention to how many times I've clicked that button on stream, it's probably really funny. Grind and Brew is great. Yeah, we just don't have any here that we can give away. Okay, if we hit uh, an epic or a legendary from this pack, we will give that away to someone on stream. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh wow. Oh, oh wow. Okay, all right. That's a big one. People, people want that thing. <laughs> yeah, people care about that. Cool. All right. Sounds good. Let's set it up. Let's give it away. Let's do that thing. Everyone say, raffle, raffle, raffle. Oh, hold on, hold on. We got to set it up. <laughs> All right, let's grab a tab here, pull it out. Let's get this thing going. <laughs> People are so funny. <laughs> Head to our Streamlabs dashboard. Just don't give it away. End the stream. Quick, it's, uh, done, leave. Okay, thanks everyone for tuning in. We're gonna, we're gonna go home now. <laughs>
Someone snuck in just under the thing. Okay, all right. Thanks, everyone. We have a number of entries today. Devious, you came in <laughs> like three seconds too late. Uh, we have how many entries today? We have 34 entries. I'm going to scroll through this list. And who do I not recognize? Uh... 420 Tomo. There you go. That's my guess for today. 420 Tomo. And we'll pick our winner. Hey, pick a winner. The Night Rabbit. There you go. Congratulations, Night Rabbit. Uh, hit me up on the Discord and we'll get you sorted out. Uh, type your Discord name in the chat here so I know that you are chatting to me and not someone trying to be you. <laughs> Yeah, congrats! Legendary Sab Reactor is huge. Like, what a what a hit from today. Um, I think we still have 20 stamina that we, we should use on something. Oh yeah, so if anyone's tuning in, <laughs> except the Constellation Smelter, yeah. Um, Night Rabbit, what is your Discord name? Let us know in the chat. Or just or just DM me on the Discord. Yeah, okay, there you go. Just so I know it's you and it's not somebody random. Alright, thanks everyone for tuning in today. Ask your final questions, anything anyone wants to know. Uh, you're welcome to type it in the chat here, but we are going to start signing off. If you are new here and you haven't already, you can go check out any of the tutorials over on the YouTube. Lots of useful content there. Uh, hauling token tutorial also coming out for advanced players on Sunday here. Um, if you haven't already, the best advice I can give anyone tuning in, anyone who is uh, playing Million on Mars, you should be in the Discord. You gotta go over there, you gotta check it out, you gotta ask questions and engage with the community. Um, yeah, Transformation, just coming in very late there. Uh, thanks everyone for tuning in. If you missed any of this VOD today, you are welcome to watch it back on the Twitch, it'll be available right away. Usually within a few days, it comes up on the YouTube as well. Um, thanks everyone, and I hope you all have a good one. Later!